Do you have a favorite chapter in the Bible? In the first readings at Mass these days, we've been reading my favorite chapter. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and if you've been following along with the daily Mass readings, and I highly encourage you to let God speak to you every day through these readings, whether or not you can go to daily Mass, you know that my favorite chapter is Romans 8. Today has a particularly beautiful image, as Paul writes, we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains, even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. I think what Paul is saying is that all things in the physical world, including the very earth on which we live and our bodies, will pass. There will come a time when our physical life in the body and the earth as we know it will end. But this isn't what we're made for a brief span in our case, or millions of years in the case of the earth. We don't exist just to live and then die. Because of the resurrection of Jesus, we know that we're made for a new life, one that will never end, and one that includes a new transformed body. Now, we're not talking about reincarnation here. We're talking about something we profess every Sunday in the creed, where we say that we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Notice, we don't just believe in it, but we look for it and we look forward to it. In the meantime, we and all creation groan. Here, we experience pollution, the pollution of sin that leads to the pollution and destruction of God's good creation. Let's turn our groaning into a prayer today. Lord, free us from sin and make us long more than ever for the glorious freedom of the children of God that will be ours in your kingdom.